Hi children, welcome back to computer class. Today we are going to study lesson 11, Microsoft Excel. We are using Windows operating system. We are learning Windows operating system. And in this you can see many Microsoft Office applications. Under Microsoft Office folder, you will get Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, many applications you can see. And some of the applications you already learnt, MS Word and MS PowerPoint. Now you are going to study MS Excel. We are using Microsoft Word for typing, means it is a word processor. We can create and edit documents in that. And MS PowerPoint we are using for creating attractive presentations. In this you can see different slides as pages. And in Microsoft Word you can see uh, you will get white page. Document area you will get. And now you are going to study new application that is Microsoft Excel. This is a spreadsheet program. Spreadsheet means it is arranged in the form of rows and columns, table like. Okay. So that you can do your mathematical calculations and numeric data. You can enter into this and you can analyze or sort or do calculations easily. So dear children, let us understand what is Microsoft Excel and also you can understand how can you start it, how can you edit data in this application and also you can see what are the different window parts and you can identify different parts so that you can work with Excel very easily. So that uh, we can now move through the PowerPoint presentation and understand more on Microsoft Excel. Lesson 11 Microsoft Excel Introduction we are having now. We are this year you are just understanding what is Microsoft Excel. And also you will study how to enter data and how can you save a file and what are the different window parts. All these things you will just understand. Learning definition and use of this software that we are going to do now. Learning the definition and also you are uh, learning how to use this uh, software. MS Excel is an electronic spreadsheet program. It is an electronic spreadsheet program. It is used to arrange data into rows and columns. As I told, spreadsheet is arranging data in rows and columns. It helps to make mathematical calculations easily and to manage and analyze data. You can see a small form of spreadsheet. There you can arrange your data easily and also you can do mathematical calculations. Now dear children, you will study how to start this application. Like MS Word and PowerPoint, you can follow the steps, click on start button, all programs, Microsoft Office, then Microsoft Excel, you can open any version uh, 2010 or 2013 or 2007 you can open which is given in your uh, or installed in your system so when you click on this you have to note that under the Microsoft Office folder you can see many Microsoft Office applications Microsoft Excel and uh, Microsoft uh, uh, OneNote, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft Word, so many programs you can see. And each uh, application is having a particular icon. 
so word as you know w blue in color you can see and powerpoint it is p red in color and here for excel you can identify the icon x that is given in green color the icon already i shown here you can see this green icon that is the excel icon okay now we can see the window parts parts of window the main parts of the window are file button menu tabs ribbon rows columns cells formula bar cell address box scroll bars etc so dear children the main parts are almost same only in ms word ms excel and ms powerpoint there is file button menu tabs ribbon window control buttons status bar scroll bars all these are same for all these applications but there are certain changes in ms excel you can see rows and columns rows and columns are arranged in the page and each rows and columns are uh, there is a meeting point that is called sl cell is the basic unit of a worksheet okay or a spreadsheet and you can see uh, sl is the rectangular area that is uh, given in your uh, sheet spreadsheet okay and in extra you can see a formula bar and a cell address box this is the cell address box and which cell the cursor is active that cell address is displaying here and there is a formula bar also and this formula bar show uh, you can type what you are typing that is showing here or you can apply formulas and enter into different uh, cells now you can see the window parts in detail quick access toolbar title bar ribbon column bar row bar file tab status bar worksheet area and view buttons and zoom control okay and here you can see that all the rows rows means the vertical area vertical area see vertical arrangement of a Uh, sheet and rows means the horizontal arrangement okay and each row is labeled with the numbers 1 2 3 like that you can see so much of numbers here when you are scrolling you can experience that and a b c d the letter is uh, given here in each column so the columns are identified with the, or labeled with the, alphabets or letters so together uh, the column uh, letter and cell row number forms the cell address like that a1 you can see a1 the active cell is a1 that is uh, column a and row 1 okay and here you can uh, uh, see the 11th this is a11 a11 the cell address is a11 this is b10 like that you can arrange or adjust the cell addresses okay you can understand it again dear children the parts of window again the details the special parts are give, um, explained here you can see rows rows are the horizontal series of cells columns are the vertical series of cells workbook means it is a file in ms excel worksheet means it is a page in ms excel not a page it is a vast area okay but uh, just like uh, when you are opening it you can just uh, see it as a page and it is consisting many pages and how can you enter data you have to click on a cell and type data then press enter key you can enter data in any cell and after that you have to press enter then the data is entered in the cell and you have to type in the cells uh, one by one cell you can use data can be entered only in active cell 
where the cursor is positioned it is having a dark border that cell in that cell only you can enter your data first you have to place the uh, cursor then the cell will become active active cell means it is having a dark border now you can understand after entering data you can save the file so the file button is very important all these buttons are same as powerpoint and ms word so you can understand when you click on file button save save as open close present new print all these exit options are there okay and the recently opened files also sometimes it is displaying and you can you will get more information about the documents <coughs> you can see the certain file button options create a new workbook file new option is used to create a new workbook and save a workbook file save option is used to save a workbook close a workbook file close option is used to close a workbook open a workbook file open option is used to open an existing workbook so dear children you have to understand the terms what is workbook and worksheet worksheet is the, the op, when you open ms excel you are getting the area vast area you are getting for typing that is called worksheet and many worksheet you can use okay by default three worksheets are uh, there in the sheet tab sheet tab is just top of the status bar you can see at the bottom and you can insert as many worksheets and worksheets are together forms a workbook by default a file is called as workbook you can change the name when you save the file so we can discuss uh, using the ms excel window and the live class in the live class we can discuss more using the ms excel window okay so you have to study what is ms excel and how can you open it and what is the use of ms excel and how can you enter data in ms excel this all things you have to learn next uh, this year and next year you will study more on ms excel different uh, tabs and options you will study now you have to just understand file button options and uh, home tab as you uh, use in other applications in powerpoint and ms word like that way you can use the form uh, formatting options you can use okay so okay, so we can discuss more in the live class all of you uh, do learn this new words and also you have to complete these exercises in your notebook okay and we will discuss more in the live class all of you stay home stay safe thank you